Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you have not watched this video, I will link it right here. I made a video talking about the Kobo Libra color and comparing that with the Kindle Oasis. My thoughts, my first impressions, what I liked about the Kobo, why I decided to make the switch. And I did mention in my first impressions that there is a way for you to download any purchased Kindle books. So any Kindle ebook that you purchased yourself and you're able to actually transfer that over to the Kobo product. So my Kobo Libra color. I thought that I would just hop on and make a quick tutorial video showing you how you can do it yourself. It is actually quite simple and easy to do. You just have to download a few applications for this step. But the reason why you need to do this is because on Kindle eBooks, I'm not positive if this is the publisher who does this or if it's Amazon, but there's a specific format that the ebooks come in for Kindle ebooks, and you have to remove that format before you can transfer it over to your Kobo. So that is what I'm gonna show you how to do today. I will be screen recording and going through all those steps so you can do it yourself. For these steps, you'll need just a few things. You're gonna need a computer, you'll need to download Calibre, which we'll talk about in my steps, and you'll need a specific plugin for Calibre as well. And then last, you'll need to be able to plug in your Kobo into your computer. So the Kobo that I have is a USB-C plugin, so I will get a cord to use that to connect it to the computer so I can transfer the books over. I hope these steps are easy and helpful for you. I know that I only had to do them one or two times before I got the hang of it and I have streamlined the process in this video so you can always come back to it if you need. I'll also link everything in the description down below that you might need access to and so let's get started with the screen recording. First, we're going to download the DDRM plugin. It took me a while to find the latest version, so I'm gonna link the latest version in the description down below so you can just select that. What you're going to do is click on the DDRM underscore tools underscore 10.03 zip, and that should open up into your downloads folder as you can see right here. Next, what we're going to do is download Calibre, which is the ebook management system. We can just Google it ourselves, but the link is in the description as well. Just download your software version that you need. I am using Apple products. I'll be downloading the Mac version. Just click the download button and it should start downloading into your desktop. I wanna take this time by saying that this should only be done for Kindle eBooks that you have purchased. We wanna make sure that we support our authors and they get the money, so you can't do this with Kindle Unlimited, so just books you own. Once it is downloaded, select and open up Caliber. For me, I already own Caliber and have it, so I'm just going to replace it just so you can see what this looks like. Once everything has been downloaded, you're going to Take this time to open up Calibre. What we need to do is make sure that we add that DDRM plugin that we just downloaded to Calibre. As you can see, I have a lot of books already loaded onto my Calibre, so I know this works, which is so exciting. What you're going to do is go to Preferences, select Preferences, click on Advanced Plugins, and then Load Plugin from File. Then you're going to select ddrm underscore plugin dot zip. It should be right there in your downloads folder since we did download that up. Click open and then click yes and make sure you restart your caliber so everything can get updated accordingly. Once your Kindle restarts, you're gonna go to Preferences, select Plugins again, and then you'll see your DDRM that is loaded and ready to go. Next, what you're going to do is click on the Customize Plugin button. Once you click on your Customize Button plugin, then click Kindle e Ink Books. Select the plus symbol, and then this is where you are going to add your serial number. You can find your serial number on Amazon under your device preferences, or you can go to Kindle Device Settings and find your serial number there. 
Now we're set and the plugin will remove the DRM off of the Kindle eBooks and we are ready to download our Kindle eBooks to Calibre. We are going to select a book that we own and transfer it to our Kobo. Once we have a book, I'm going to use Rouge by Mona Awad as an example. We're going to go to the right hand side that says more actions, select download and transfer via USB, and then select the device you want to connect to Calibre. It's a device that has the same serial number that we added. Then click download. Now the ebook is downloading to your downloads folder, as you can see. Next, go back to Calibre and select the plus button at the top left where it says add books at the top nav. Go to your downloads folder and then add the book and select open and the book will upload in Calibre. It might take a little bit to load, but once this is done, you can see that Rouge by Mona Awad is on my screen in Calibre. We're going to convert this next into a format the Kobo will read. So select convert books and at the top right, you'll change the format to EPUB. Once you've selected EPUB, you're going to hit OK. Now this job is working and it is converting the book to EPUB. Once this is done, we have officially converted the file into a format that Kobo can read. Next, what we are going to do is connect our Kobo to our computer so we can just drop that new ebook file into our Kobo device. All you're gonna do is open up your Kobo Drive, take that new book that just got converted to EPUB, and you're gonna drag it into your Kobo Reader. It's as simple as that. Now I can disconnect my Kobo so it can sync and you're good to go. After all of those simple steps, you should now see your ebook that you transferred from your Kindle over to your Kobo. I'll show you mine. We went ahead and transferred Rouge by Mona Awad, and you can see that it is right there. So it worked. It's as simple as that. So when you click on your Kobo, you should see that the book is loaded. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want future videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post a video once a week, usually on Fridays. I hope this video was so helpful, and please let me know in the comments if it was or if you have any questions and I can help you out in any way I can. I am no tech pro but I do know how to convert books that I own on Kindle to my Kobo. Have a great day everybody. Bye!